what I tell myself is, you know, and, and anybody that knows me knows I'm very, ba I'm very much based in family. And that doesn't just mean my, my immediate family. That means, like, my ancestors going all the way back. I mean, I'm from Chicago, but my father's from Mississippi, and my mother's family's from Louisiana. You know, both are families of slaves, and, you know, so forth. And I figure, like, I came from that. They survived so that I could be here, so that I could have this interview with you, so that I can, you know, that I can, I can build this, this institution, so that I can create and manifest these dreams. They survive so that we are here. So I can't stop. You know, I can't let. I can't let. I can't let up. I, I gotta, you know, keep going because they, in the worst circumstances that I can't, even, none of us can imagine, kept faith and kept alive, stayed alive and stayed, you know, forward and kept moving forward and, and kept falling forward even if it was in the worst times. So. How, who am I to give up? Who am I to take that same flesh and blood and say, you know what, I'm going to stop, I'm going to give up because everything can go my way. You know, I feel that it's our duty, it's our responsibility as, as this generation to take the baton and keep moving and progress and keep building and keep fighting. And that's what, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. Believe in that passion because that passion is what fuels you, that passion is what will push you and that will drive you. You know, that passion is what will make you wake up every morning without an alarm clock. You know, at the same time, every morning, at the crack of dawn, and that passion will drive you to do things that might make you uncomfortable, but it might require the dream, it, it might be a requirement to achieve your, your goal. If you're, if you're attempting to kind of pursue your dream full forward, is first, first and foremost, plan for success. You know, what happens if it actually works? What happens if this thing that you want to do, this dream, this goal, this passion, actually, actually grows and actually comes to fruition? Plan for that. Don't plan for failure. You know, plan for success. Passion is awesome, but a plan is what will, what will bring your goal or your dream to fruition. That plan is the blueprint that you're going to need to actually achieve it. The passion will fuel you, but the plan is how you'll navigate. Allow people to help you. Allow people to assist you. You know, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have met you without somebody saying I want to help you. So allow that. You know, don't 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 be an island. You know, even if it's something that only requires yourself, allow people to help you because I believe in the goodness of people and they will help you. You know, they will come to your assistance. Don't listen to the naysayers. That's the first thing. They're they're people and they're not bad people, but they're people that are going to say and immediately going to play the advocate for the devil. I never believed in that. The devil doesn't need an advocate. He's already powerful enough. So don't listen to the naysayers. Let them go on about their way. You know, thank you, but no thank you. I want to open Free Candy, which is a mixed-use art space full of uh, live music and, and, and visual art and dance. You know, so, I mean, I came here to, to not only start this organization, but to also get my master's in arts administration, which I achieved, started my doctorate, which uh, I'm in the process of. But at the same time, I go to live music events all the time. I hang around and, 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 and identify new and emerging artists. So it's just a lifestyle. Your dream will literally become your life, and it should, and it should en envelop you, and it should engulf everything you do. So if, you know, with passion, it will, it will come out in everything you do. It, you can't help it. You know, and um, so I guess I would say for the third thing, don't go into something that uh, that you don't that you kind of don't believe in. If you if you have some questions about it, let it simmer, let it bake, and let it let it uh, develop more. You know, and it's no rush.